Hey everyone, it's Angela and Jim out for an adventure today. <laughs> and we are actually doing a 30 miles of junk. Can you believe it? 30 miles. So this is all on the Washington coast and they do it uh, one weekend out of the year and they didn't do it last year and I was so sad. So this year it's going on but I don't know if you can see what the weather is like. Welcome to Western Washington coast. Exactly. <laughs> so we'll see if any of these sales are actually open, but check it out. So there is a map on both sides with addresses. So we're hoping that most of these people are holding true to following through and they're having things either in their actual garage or they're having it under tent covers or whatever. So we'll see, um, but it also might mean that not as many people are shopping. So the highlighted ones are the, the is the list that actually says the words antique or collectibles or vintage. So we're gonna check those out first and then, but you never know. So. Wish have, us luck. Yeah, so join us along for the ride. This is our first stop. Oh, this is kind of cute. So, so far, either we have come across that the garage sale is not happening or that the people are having it in their small garage, which is really hard to film. So uh, we're hoping to get some more um, video here shortly. We still have a long list to go, but that's the update so far. So we're in Westport, Washington, and this is the lighthouse. And at what one point, this was actually on the coast. But since that time, a lot of land has filled in. <laughs> we actually went up inside that. Okay, we found a church that's having a sale too. Well, let's see what we can find. This is all free stuff. Oh, look, there's a lid to a Mary Inglebright box. I wonder where the rest of it is. Not oh, yet. you know what? I need to find some of these. These fit that Karis wheel we bought for our nephew. Oh, nice. Another Fisher Price thing. We must have a preschool. So we're inside now. This is kind of cute. Hmm, Marshalls. Probably not vintage. It sounds like everything is donation. So that's nice. Some, see some tins ahead. I don't tend to buy a lot of Christmas tins because there's so many of them. Well, these canisters are cool. I don't know what age these are from. They must be pretty old because it had the cork stopper. Let's see. Hmm. There's no maker's mark on the bottom. If you know what these are, then comment below. Ooh, there's a treasure craft cookie jar. Okay, let's check out the figurine area. These are Avon. A lot of cute ones, but nothing distinct enough for me to necessarily buy for resale. Nothing standing out to me. Here's the glassware in China. Hmm. Don't really see anything that is for our shop. 
some cute little babies there. Well, now here's Garfield. What's this Garfield vintage? Looks like it's got a mirror and a speaker. Made in China. So, Andrew and I are out on the, the great hunt, and we came across the South Beach Christian Outreach. Go in there, they had some wonderful items. Got a travel light suitcase. This awesome cookie jar. Treasure craft. Treasure craft. We got some Mary Engelbright. An Avon tin. I'm probably the, the, the tin guy in the group. But everything was donation. And we, we, we made a wonderful donation to them. End up some great items we can put in the shop. See how it goes. Nice. On to the next. Okay, on to the next one. Look at these puddles, you guys. Okay, that was a good garage sale. Look, we found this advertising piece for cherished pet teddies. And then I got some 101 Dalmatian sheets. They look like good sheets. And then this tin. And then it's like a little Hobby Holly blanket. That's sweet. And Jim got a little mug, you'll see later. Okay, so at that garage sale, we found these super cool handmade ornaments. I mean, look how pretty these are. Little dove. The gal said that her mom made them, grandmother made them in the 60s. And she was a part of a, what kind of a guild? A sewing guild. Yeah, like a sewing guild that would meet at a church. And they're just fabulous. So those will be fun. today though. All right, we found these records. Strawberry Shortcake, Puff the Magic Dragon. How many of, of you remember that? It's not really about dragons. Uh, Wizard of Oz. And then Care Bears. We have a lot of Care Bear items, including the PVC figurines in our shop. So check that out. And then we found this. We already have some of these, so we're going to add those to our collection. <laughs> this is our fine lunch that we're having today as we're out and about. Because we were out of town, we didn't necessarily like have a lunch to bring with us, so we stopped it at the local store to just grab a little snack until we can get to a restaurant. These might be vintage too, we're not sure. Yeah, hopefully they're not vintage. <laughs> Hey everyone, so it's day two, and uh, we saw yesterday that there was a little place that said that they were going to be open at 9 a.m. this morning, and it, Jim kind of looked in the windows a little bit. It wasn't somebody's house. It was like a building next to an old rundown restaurant, and um, it looked like a lot of really good vintage stuff, so we're going to check it out. All right, so we're outside, and I spotted this M&M thing. I'm not sure if it's vintage or not. I don't think it is. One of my favorite things to source are linens, and especially Holly Hobby and Sun Bonnet Sue. And I just love finding floral sheets, too. I don't see any sheets. <laughs> What's the white mug? White That's, mug. <laughs> That's from your coffee. house. <laughs> Let it go, let it go. Oh, that's a cool mug. It almost looks Vector's Bach, but it's not. That's 
cool. We found some great stuff there. All right, we're at the next garage sale. A lot of crystal here. We'll check out back here. Yep, that was Jim. Don't worry, nothing was broken. There's some cool bottles. All right, so the weekend is over and we are done with our shopping and we had a good time. Uh, what was your f most favorite thing that we got, Jim? I don't know, probably that Sunbonnet Sioux quote you picked up this morning at that little yeah. shop in Grayland. I'm excited about the swung vases that we got. Um, <laughs> her puppy is jumping on us because we just got back home. Hello, going so anyway, um, <laughs> thanks for watching everyone. Uh, sorry that a lot of the clips were kind of short. Make sure you subscribe to our channel and um, also hit the bell notification so you can get notified when uh, new videos go up. All right, thanks, bye. bye.